Hey what's up guys in this video I am going to show you how to add image in your android app So if you are a beginner then this tutorial is absolutely for you First of all you have to open your image and copy this image and paste this inside your android studio drivable folder You can see that drivable folder is here inside resource folder Right click on drivable and click on the paste button and make sure to select the v24 uh, folder press ok button and again press ok button you can see that this is my image now you have to create an image view tag image view and uh, width would be match parent height would be 200 dp and make sure to put forward slash to close this tag okay now you have to type Android colon src source is equal to double quotation and now you have to type your your drivable folder and uh, you can see that it is also it is already uh, by itself showing me this uh, suggestion so this is my image and you did not uh, have to use dot gp jpg or dot png just you have to type your image name then Android Studio will automatically fetch your image and now I am going to give some other properties to align this image to the uh, center of my app. So you have to click Android uh, colon layout underscore center vertical is equal to true. And uh, you have to use one more property uh, Android colon center horizontal is equal to true. So these two properties will uh, definitely center my image horizontally as well as vertically. Uh, okay, let me run the app and uh, see what is the output of our app. So when you will click on this button, uh, your Android Studio will open the app. Uh, I have already run my app. Okay, so you can see that this is your Android app and this is your image. By using this method, you can use any type of images in your Android app. Maybe you have 10, uh, 10 activities, 20 activities. You can use image in your Android, Android app by using this method so there is an another method method you can add image by program programmatically so i will show you that method in the next video finally thanks for watching and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thanks for watching